Hello, my name is Ashish. Welcome to this session that discusses consumption analytics available in the 21C release of Oracle Utilities Meter Solution Cloud Service. In this session, we will talk about this new feature and how it can impact your business. In this session, we will give you an overview of consumption analytics followed by more detail to explain how you would use it and the benefit to your business. Then we will walk you through a demonstration. Finally, we will explain what you need to consider when implementing this product in your business. Now we are going to talk about the business value this feature provides. In past, consumption reporting was very limited for users. With the help of these visualizations, these consumption analytics are easily accessible and can access usage data by various dimensions. They can help you to quickly look at energy by a transformer and feeder for distribution planning purposes and can help you to report on energy used by customer class for management reporting such as planning and forecasting, cost analysis purposes. They can also help you to show total water usage by region for a regulator and discover the total amount of gas or electricity used in a region for distribution or grid analysis purposes. This feature doesn't require special skills or data access by users. As a result, it will reduce project build time. Additionally, there is no separate data warehouse to maintain. Data comes directly from your production database, making it easier and cheaper to maintain. The consumption analytics visualizations provides more visually appealing graphics and an efficient way to analyze the usage consumption trends for a particular meter or device. Utilities often have requirements to see the trends of usage consumption for a particular region such as city, postal code. Similarly, utilities often face problems in identifying aggregated consumption by various dimensions such as customer class, region, distribution node and others. For example, is a particular usage trend increasing or decreasing for a particular area or distribution nodes such as feeder, substation, transformer? These views help you to reduce customizations and make consumption data available to business users through various charts and tables. You can export the data into Excel. Now let's take a look at the consumption analytics. Consumption analytics by region and here is a project overview page which defines that how it helps you to analyze gas, electricity or water usage consumption by area. Basically, this data is useful for regulator reporting, distribution analysis, planning and grid analysis purposes. It also includes the key performance consideration as well as prerequisites. In other side, it shows you the brief description about individual canvases of the project. Now, let's look at the summary of aggregated usage consumption by city. Here you can see the usage by individual city. And in the right hand side, you can see the individual usage in tabular format. You can also analyze the aggregated consumption by city and various other dimensions like facility identifier, postal. You can analyze daily and interval usage consumption by city. Here you can select any city and you can see the daily and interval usage pattern. You can analyze aggregated usage consumption by postal code. You can also analyze daily and interval usage consumption by postal code. Here again you can select any postal code and you can see the daily and interval usage pattern. And lastly, you can see the detailed usage consumption report by region. Here you can see the consumption by city, postal, facility. The next project is a consumption analytics by distribution node. And here is a project overview page which defines that how it helps you to analyze usage by various nodes such as substation, 
feeder and transformers. Basically, this data is useful for regulator reporting, distribution analysis, planning and grid analysis purposes. It also includes the key performance consideration as well as prerequisites. In other side, it shows you the brief description about individual canvases of the project. Now let's look at the summary of usage by substation. Here in this it shows the total usage by substations. It also shows the usage by individual substation. In the right hand side it shows the usage by individual substation percentage and also the usage by individual substation in a tabular format. You can also analyze daily and interval usage by individual substations. Here again if you can select any individual substation you can see the pattern of daily and interval usage data. You can analyze top and highest loaded transformer details by region such as CT, postal code, you can also analyze daily interval load by individual transformers. And lastly, you can see the detailed usage consumption report by substation, feeder and transformers. The next project is a consumption by customer class. And here is a project overview page which defines that how it helps you to analyze gas, water, electricity usage consumption by various dimensions like customer class, customer profiles. Basically, this data is useful for regular reporting, revenue analysis, rate design and planning purposes. It also includes the key performance consideration as well as prerequisites. In other side, it shows you the brief description about individual canvases of the project. Now let's look at the summary of usage by usage subscription type and customer class. You can also analyze the consumption by CT, postal code and various profile class. You can compare consumption or usage data for different profile class on daily basis. You can analyze the consumption in a pivot table and sunburst view mode. You can also analyze daily and interval usage by different customer profiles. And lastly, you can see the detailed usage consumption report by usage subscription type, profile class, postal and city. In this implementation advice section, we will go through what you need to consider before enabling this feature in your business and what you need to know to set it up. Consumption analytics leverage data generated through dynamic aggregation and requires configuration of the following objects. Data sources, aggregator measuring component types, aggregation groups, measuring component sets. After configuration, dynamic aggregation batch jobs must be run. Please refer to configuring dynamic aggregation for consumption analytics, the administrative user guide for more information about configuration of dynamic aggregation and batch jobs. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.